loves, it's Brianna. Today's video is a Bath and Body Works haul for fall 2018. I cannot believe we're already almost into fall. I've got a bunch of fun fall videos planned for you all though. So if you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and that everyone has their bell notifications turned on so you know when I post new videos. We've had a lot going on, so to be honest, I'm just not quite sure if I'm gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday is like I normally have been, but I'm just gonna keep on trying to make videos because I get inspired and it's a nice distraction from some of the hard stuff that we just have going on in our personal life right now. But I can promise you there will be good fall content on my channel. So make sure that you are subscribed and have your notifications turned on. But if you like Bath and Body Works haul videos, give this video a thumbs up so that I know. I had a ton of requests for this one, but if I get a lot of thumbs up, I'll make sure I continue making more Bath and Body Works hauls with every season. And we have a lot here today, so grab a treat because I have one, two, oh, three. This is like the huge heavy bag to go through with you guys. I've got candles, body stuff, wallflowers, a ton of goodies, and I'll be sure to tell you what all of the scents are so that if you are ordering online, you will get a better idea of exactly what you're getting when it comes to these candles, soaps, scents. All right, I'm gonna get started with the candles first. I still can't believe I have three bags. If you didn't watch the vlog where I went shopping for all of this, I had to make my son Landon get out of his stroller so that I could put the bags into the stroller. That's how much of a problem I have when it comes to Bath and Body Works. I can never go in there if I am on a budget. Um, but this hot cocoa and scream candle, I have such a thing for puns. They get me every single time, and there's some more good puns in here. But the guy said this was the first day that they had set up their Halloween display the day we went, and this was one of their Halloween candles. So, uh, it just smells like such rich chocolate brownies. It is what it smells like to me. I mean, it definitely smells like hot cocoa too, but it says it is deep dark chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mischievous mini marshmallows. I'm sorry if I say milk weird. A lot of you have made fun of me for that in other vlogs too. But I love this packaging with the little graveyard print. It's super, super cute for Halloween and goes with some of the new decor. I think I'm gonna be putting in my house this year. That tour will be coming up. This next candle is called Pumpkin Patch and oh, it just smells like, this is fall to me in a candle. And I love like the top of this candle has that little, it's gingham, right? Or there's another word for this. Tell me what it is in the comments. I forget what the word for this actual pattern is because it's not gingham, but it kind of has that gingham -y look. Um, but this pumpkin patch candle is bright orange pumpkin, autumn spice blend, and rich molasses. And it just does smell like fall and potpourri. Potpourri always makes me think of my mom because she used to make these potpourri pies that she sold at craft fairs. And that's what that smells like to me as like fall potpourri. All right, the next candle I picked up I'm obsessed with this very clean, crisp packaging that they have right now. It's like this very just matte white, and this is the almond scent, but it has the really pretty rose gold or copper lid. Ugh, and I love this almond. This is one I would love year round, honestly. Um, the actual scent is sweet almond blossom, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood, and it is just very clean and homey smelling and I love the smell of almond. I feel like I'm very into the almond scent right now. You'll see that there's some other products I got that have almond weaved in there too. It's probably because our family butter cookie recipe uses almond extract, so I feel like there is something when I smell the almond too that just is comforting and makes me think of like childhood growing up and making those cookies. Um, this next, it's the same packaging of that really pretty white mat, but this is a new one. It's called White pumpkin. I don't believe I've ever seen this scent at Bath and Body Works before. Ugh, I love it because it smells like clean fall. Let me tell you what the actual notes are in this candle. It is white pumpkin, autumn spice blend, and ground cinnamon. It says made with essential oils. There's something in this though. Maybe it is just that white pumpkin has something cleaner than traditional pumpkin. It just smells like a clean home to me a clean fall home is how i would describe the white pumpkin candle so very excited to light this one probably after i clean to kind of give that fresh clean fall scent this next one i feel like is one of my favorites every single fall i end up picking up the pumpkin pecan waffles 
Ugh, it just smells like breakfast after I don't know if anybody played sports in the fall But I generally played sports So I feel like you would come home from that Saturday morning practice and this is like the smell if your mom was making waffles or pancakes or something like that But this is maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar. It is just What you want every breakfast in the fall. I love this candle. This scent, I don't believe they've had other years either. Or there's just been other variations of it. It also has that same, whatever, gingham, whatever we're calling this. Tell me what it's actually called in the comments. Um, but the caramel apple. Uh, it just, it smells like a clean caramel apple. I was really drawn, I think, to the scents this year that smelled cl cleaner. Um, this is Granny Smith apple slices, so that makes sense. I think green apple has more of that crisp, clean smell. Warm golden caramel and cinnamon vanilla cream. It does, it just has a very clean, sweet apple scent. This is a really good one. Okay, and this candle is called Pumpkin Vanilla. I actually do like in this packaging how it's like a skinnier and fatter candle than some of the traditional three wicks, because I feel like these actually last longer, but oh my God, I need to smother one again. This pumpkin vanilla is good, guys. I mean, this and the white pumpkin, if I, if you were to ask me like the top two candle scents, what should I get for my home? I would say white pumpkin or this pumpkin vanilla because they both have the nice fall pumpkin, but they have also that additional layer of sweetness. I think my third place would be the almond and almost because I think it is more year round. Um, but this is spiced pumpkin, Sweet vanilla cream, cinnamon sugar with essential oil. So pumpkin vanilla. This is a good one. I was a little disappointed because a lot of you told me to check out. It was a blueberry maple candle. And somebody else mentioned, I think it was a peanut butter pumpkin or peanut brittle pumpkin maybe was what it was called. I ended up finding them online, but they were not in the store that I went to. So I didn't get to try those, but I would just recommend them if you're you know, looking into purchasing or looking in your store. A lot of people said the blueberry maple, I think a blueberry maple pancake or blueberry maple, blueberry maple something, and a peanut brittle or peanut pumpkin peanut brittle pumpkin. And those sound delightful. I just couldn't find them in my store for you. <laughs> All right, we're diving into bag number two. We've made it through one bag, <laughs> guys. Um, I'll do the soaps first, like hand soaps, and then I'll go into the body products. Um, so I mentioned the almond candle. This almond blossom hand soap smells amazing. So where did it say what it is? It is almond milk, coriander, vanilla, and sugar. It again, I feel like could be used year round, but I really, really love just how comforting that almond scent is in here. And the packaging, like for fall, the fact it's like a very pretty fall floral, but still pretty neutral. Um, I loved this one. So I got two of the same, and these are the Coconut Pumpkin Latte. I really like coconut in my bathrooms. I always really love to get the beach coconut kind of scented hand soaps in the summer. And I love that they did this in a fall scent. So it says this is coconut cream, whipped pumpkin and warm praline. So yeah, it is a bit of a nuttier. So definitely has like a fall twist to it. These will go into our master bathroom because we have double sinks. So I get the same soaps for in there. And then these. These are the puns I'm talking about that I cannot get enough in. So I got these for in the kiddos bathroom. I just thought they were so funny. This one is witch please, <laughs> witch please. I can't, it's just amazing. <laughs> um, and then this one is called ghoul friend. So, so it's not that Landon and Presley have his and her side of the sinks yet, but obviously Presley's my little ghoul friend. So I had to get these for them. I thought they were so cute on their new Halloween display. Um, but what is ghoul friend? Ghoul friend is dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. That's so cute how they even make it like twisted in their sense. And which please is creepy caramel, wicked apple, and bubbling butterscotch. So this is like a caramel apple scent, and this is almost like a sugary, sweet, strawberry floral scent. All right, moving on to the body products. Uh, the Almond Blossom, they had this in a shower gel. Uh, they also had this Ultra Shea body cream, which how gorgeous is the packaging on this? Those beautiful flowers. I love how the packaging on this looks. So pretty and just like 
feminine yet fall and they also had the body splash or the fine fragrance mist people make fun of me when i say body splash i don't know why i call this that to me if it's not perfume and it's like this i call it body splash i feel like it was like limited to when we were little girls that like they called these body splashes and i feel like that's why i call it body splash as anyone else, am I just a weirdo? I don't even know, like caught in the 90s or early 2000s or something, I don't know. But this is my set. I cannot wait to use these. And I thought these would be nice for almost my transitional scent, cause I have two, but I usually go through these over like the course of like two months. So sometimes I need like a carryover scent. And I thought that this maybe could be my end of fall carryover into winter. Cause I do just feel like there's more longevity in this scent, if that makes sense. This is why you guys call me a Bath & Body Works haul guru, because I get really into it. Um, but the Whipped Vanilla and Spice, this is gonna be the one I'm gonna kick off for fall, even though this could be a good transition, because it reminded me slightly of Vanilla Bean Noel. Like, I think Bath & Body Works knows Vanilla Bean Noel is their top scent of all time. I'm throwing it out there. And I think they're trying to give some competition to it in the fall because this is whipped vanilla, ground cinnamon, creamy tonka. I have no idea what a tonka is. If anybody does, can you let me know? And golden honey. And it just has here. It is a really nice vanilla scent for your body. I love this. So I'm going to kick off my fall using this. So I got the, this is the 24 hour ultra shade body cream. This is the shower gel. And this I'm really excited about. They have a illuminating body splash um, or fragrance mist. Um, but I love that, that it has a little bit of sparkle in it. So I'm sure I will be using this a ton. And I just like the shiny blue packaging with the rose gold too. I feel like this will look really pretty in our bathroom in particular because we have a lot of blue in our master bathroom. So if I have this out on the counter, it will coordinate nicely. And then these two, I had some coupons, so I ended up getting these two items for free. This is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And I got the hand cream as well. So this is Shea Butter Hand Cream. And let's see, does it say what this actually has in it? That's odd, like on the back of this one, it doesn't actually describe it, but it does smell like marshmallows and pumpkin and latte, and it's just a nice fall scent. So I was thinking of leaving this out in our little half bath, like powder room on our first floor so that anyone who's over can spray this on themselves if they would like. Okay, this is the final bag. So these plugins this year are so cute from their Halloween display. We're obsessed with Coco. I don't know if anybody else loves watching this. If you have not watched that movie yet with your kiddos, we sing the songs all of the time. And just with like our current circumstances, I feel like it's gonna be really helpful to like explain everything to the kids almost using Coco as like an analogy. Um, but we're not gonna go there. We're gonna keep this light and bright. This is a Bath and Body Works haul. So I had to get this Coco plug-in wallflower as soon as I saw it. And I was with the kids and I even said it to Landon. And he was like, it. I was like, what does this remind you of Landon? And he's like, Coco. I was like, yeah. Um, and then this lights up too. It's a little like haunted house. But I love the bronzy colors. So, so cute. I think I'm going to go a little more spooky Halloween in a couple of rooms this year. Um, just to change it up a bit because I did very like glam fall decor last year You have to see the end result of what I finally end up doing in the fall decor tour Which you won't have to wait too long for um, But I figured this would be really cute for going with the more like spooky fall Halloween theme And then the other one I got just because I do have a lot of traditional glam fall decor are these little sparkly gold leaves. I thought that that was a really pretty wallflower plug-in. And a new thing I've noticed Bath & Body Works are doing, which I'm totally bought into, they have these little magnetic candle toppers. So okay, let me grab a candle. So like on a candle, you can put this little magnet topper and it like helps pull the lid off. But I got this one, it's like a very just kind of Almost, there's a little bit of orange to it, but it's more of like a creamy colored pumpkin that can go on there. And then same thing, they had this like very velvet with a sparkly handle candle topper. So I got two of those. And then I figured for fall I would try this. It's the champagne, apple, and honey scent, but it's a little like leaf shaped bath fizzy. I thought that that was super cute for fall. They had it in some other colors too, but they were all the champagne 
apple honey scent. They didn't have them in any of the other scents because I really wanted actually one to go with the whipped vanilla scent and they didn't have it. They only had it in the champagne apple honey scent. Um, okay, and then in here, this is the first time I've actually ever seen a bag like this. They put all my wildflowers in here. So let me dump them out. And see what I okay, so I always try to get my wallflowers to sort of coordinate them with the candle that I'm lighting in that room. So I got the almond scented wallflower for my almond candle. I got the white pumpkin wallflower for my white pumpkin candle. Again, this one is gonna be really good for like after a clean. That's what it smells like to me. I got the hot cocoa and cream. Then this one is the caramel apple. And finally, the pumpkin pecan waffles. So that is it for my fall 2018 Bath and Body Works haul. Again, if you like this haul, give it a thumbs up so that I know so I can make sure I'm planning for more Bath and Body Works hauls on my channel. Clearly really into <laughs> all of the scents. So I can definitely do more if you like them, just let me know. And if there's any other types of fall content you would like to see me do on my channel, let me know in the comments too. I always like hearing your ideas and your request to be, you know, getting new ideas for myself and making videos that you guys would really be interested in seeing. But thank you so much for watching this and there will definitely be a fall decor home tour. So make sure you're subscribed and that your notifications are turned on and I'll see you in my next video. Bye loves.